This motor which is displaying on screen right now needs 3 phase power supply to run. And to provide 3 phase power supply, I made this starter. From the starter, I will run the motor by pressing start push button. You can see motor is running. If this motor is in running condition and among the 3 phase power supply, one of the phase got stripped. Then you can see motor is still running but it is producing different vibration. From this, we can conclude that even if only two phase power supply is present, then also motor will run but speed will be reduced. It produces vibration and also motor will consume more current. If more amount of current flows through motor winding, then winding will heat up and this will affect the insulation. Motor insulation become weak which results in burnout of motor. To provide phase loss protection to this motor and also to provide protection related to voltage, you have to use this type of voltage monitoring relay. What is voltage monitoring relay and how we are going to connect with this starter? Let's understand one by one. This device I am showing is known as voltage monitoring relay. Means we monitor voltage by using this relay. By monitoring voltage, you will get four types of protection. First one is phase loss, second is over voltage, third is under voltage and you will also get protection from voltage difference. Apart from these four protection, in some of the device, you will also get phase sequence protection. This means if the power supply of three phase somehow interchange, then also your device will produce protection to this motor. This means if the power supply of three phase somehow interchange, then also your device will provide protection to the motor. This device is manufactured by CNC company and you can see the model number here. Now how we are going to connect this device with starter, let's understand. The starter you are looking at right now is known as DOL starter. How to make direct online starter, I will explain you in some other video. I am mounting this voltage monitoring relay here. As I told you a few minutes ago that with the help of this relay, we will monitor the voltage. So we have to provide feedback to this relay for monitoring. To provide voltage feedback to this relay, connect one wire with R phase and connect other end of the wire with L1 terminal of relay. After this, connect one end of another wire with Y phase and the other end of the wire with L2 terminal of relay. Similarly, connect a wire with B phase power supply and connect other end of wire with L3 terminal of relay. This voltage monitoring relay also needs neutral power supply. In some of the voltage monitoring relay, you only need to provide three phase power supply. But the relay which I have now takes neutral power supply also to monitor three phase power supply. So I am connecting one end of wire with neutral power supply and other end of wire with neutral terminal of relay. You saw how connection was done. So to monitor voltage through this relay, we provided voltage feedback to this relay. Now we need to do the connection to stop the contactor through relay. This means if some kind of problem occurs in voltage, then this relay must stop the contactor. I loop this wire from B phase power supply and connect it to 95 number terminal of overload relay. The wire which is connected at 95 number terminal, I am removing this wire and connecting to common terminal of this relay. You will find two common terminals. You can see both 11 number and 21 number terminals are common terminal. Use one of these common terminals. For now, I am connecting wire at 21 number terminal. Now phase supply is provided to common terminal of relay. The 24 number terminal of this relay is NO contact, so I am connecting a wire with this. I provided input power supply at 21 number terminal, so at same contact terminal, that is 24 number terminal, connect a wire and connect the other end of wire with 95 number terminal of overload relay. So what we did is with NC contact of overload relay, we connect NO contact of this relay in series. The connection is now completed. What we have to learn now is how to use all these knobs and do the programming of this relay. For setting programming of this relay, first set your multimeter to voltage. Then you have to measure voltage by using these. First I'm gonna measure voltage of L1 phase power supply. You can see L1 phase power supply voltage is 243 volt. At L2 phase power supply, I am getting 234 volts and at L3 phase power supply, I am getting 236 volts. So we can consider average voltage as 235 volts. With the help of this knob, we set the operating voltage. We measured 235 volts. So I am going to set this knob to 235. 
with this knob we set over voltage at how much percentage you want over voltage you can set with this knob for now i am setting this to 16% means from this rated voltage if the voltage is 16% more then this contactor will turned off by this relay with the help of this knob we set under voltage i am setting this also to 16% during the programming of over voltage and under voltage go through the data sheet of motor and according to that only program these here now with the help of this knob we set time delay minimum 0.1 second time can be programmed for now i am setting this to 2 seconds means still 2 seconds if voltage is unbalanced or is there any phase loss then this relay will turn off the contactor below this you will find reset time delay knob also set this to at least 5 seconds means till 5 seconds if no problem occurs then relay will act as normal this last knob here is used for programming of voltage unbalance means at what percentage of unbalancing in voltage our relay must trip i am setting this to 10% if 10% voltage got unbalanced then in that condition also contact of this relay will be changed there are four indication present in this relay to explain them on turning on the power supply this relay started blinking when voltage is monitored through this relay then this led will blink when this works as normal it will come to on condition after this you can see this r indication is also glowing means relay contact is changed turn this off and again turn this on you see this relay is not on when everything is confirmed normal then only this will turn on this led will glow at over voltage condition and this one at under voltage as well as at voltage difference if i turn off this mcb you can see both these indications are glowing let this be on this red indication is glowing which confirms the power supply is healthy in this condition if i press start push button motor turns on on pressing stop push button motor turns off If I again turn this motor on and among these MCB I will trip one MCB you saw that this relay detected the voltage fault and turned off this contactor as contactor is turned off this motor also stopped at the starting when I turned off a phase then also motor was running but when this relay is connected in between it provides protection to motor I am showing this again to you press start push button motor is running and now if power supply got affected by over voltage under voltage or voltage unbalance or if a phase supply got trip then in that condition this relay will provide protection to this motor you watch this video till the end it means you like this video if you really like this video please do like comment and share on my video if you didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video